Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Lacrissa, I see you here. You... You owe me 10 gold. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Oh, really? What's up for discussion? Kid. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Hmm. That sounded dangerously close to a compliment. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Of course, you little devil. Can we go through? Nothing I've no, but there's nothing else here. For now that is. Oh Halson is here. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. There's other things we could do. Ooh. I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself. As enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. I was friend zoned twice already. God damn it. I'm not doing well for a bard. Really. I'm doing horribly. Hey, actually. Thank you. What for? I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. Ooh. Uh, I like the sound of magical. What do you have planned? A lesson. And trust me when I say few have experienced the pleasure I offer to teach. However, it's something best experienced in more intimate surrounds. Once the revelry has ended and the stillness of the night has been restored. For now, please enjoy the celebration. When it is done, I will show you all. Editor Evna, make it three times we were friend zoned. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland? Hush you. And behold! I see invisible adoring applause. You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Okay, who was holding that invisible cup? Someone yes. behind me. Remember what happened last time? Oh, that's okay. That's the invisible cup. How was I supposed to know it was made of Didn't fire? You? Oh, withers? Something happened? Not this one. Nor this one. And this one a less worthy still. What are you doing? Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, 
I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Why these hirelings? Will these hirelings join me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Hmm. Thank you. But not not now. I like these people. They're joyful. It's contagious. I'm glad you enjoyed the party, but I think it's time to wrap it up. Mistra, the matron of magic herself, an ambitious desire indeed to hold her in your hands. Oh. My, you startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. Here to tell me why you are conjuring an image of the goddess. No special reason, really. I was just practicing an incantation. Hmm. There's more to it than that. You were contemplating her in a way I can hardly fathom. Sure, I have three of those. Thank you. What can I say? She's... She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. I didn't realize the depth of your devotion. Is my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Magic is music, poetry, and beauty. The ways I speak to you and I perform it differently. Fair enough. Though in the end, we're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. By all means. And follow my lead. Now you. Wouldn't I need my instrument? Imitate the gesture with a flourish. Why adding dexterity to performance? Performance is under charisma. something strange like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time it's warm and comfortable excellent now 
Repeat after me. Athran Mistra Real Kantrak Eo. Well, there was a little fresh on Eo. Now it, it, it has charisma. rose water and a sense of well-being a sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue very good now i want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony as true as you can hmm harmony comes easily to you allow it to wash all of your mind and magic You see, or is it sense, the unmistakable presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? Incredible, though of course I could have managed it by myself. You're hard to please, aren't you? The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. Hold on to the moment. It's a good night for intimacy. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. Let's take it slow. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally... elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. You didn't. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating. Finally, we're catching up on our puppet master. And the hunt ends at Moonrise Towers. I was expecting more from you than lead towards some distant, dangerous prospect. I won't be held accountable just because you're naive enough to expect easy answers. Now. Allow me to cont to get to the towers. You'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. What do you suggest? You could go overland along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under, 
There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined temple of Saluna. Yeah. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there. Before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I found this and didn't see the entrance in the temple. The way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. <laughs> I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. Sure. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. You want to come to Moonrise as well? Why? Unfinished business. And a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. And what about the grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. What about the others? Wrath, perhaps? Wrath has promise, but he has a ways to go yet. He wasn't able to stop Korga by himself. The grove needs experience and a strong hand. The grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. When this cause resentment. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Okay, we will keep uh, laser, laser, until we are... Mm, until we've gone to the cache. Then we will swap to... No, to Hassin. Afterwards, I want to keep uh, Shadowheart and Astyron near for now. Okay, let's leave the camp. Oh, hi. Yes, give me a moment. Oh, you smell it. The monsters are gone, and the air is fresh with new beginnings. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. Sure. Don't give me that. Is there anything for us left to do in the grove? Um, honestly, I would really like to see what happened in the sacred grove. Of course, you guys are not gonna use the elevator because why would you? Better not be cursed. Really? Oh. 
I'm fairly sure because I did all that at once that I screwed up the animations. And we're supposed to get some animation here when he when the Halloween gets back. You've done it. You've brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for Give me money. days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Mm. It was a hell full of blood and ash. To be expected. I'm glad you survived intact. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Thank you. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Come, boy. It's all right. Quiet at last. Don't interrupt it. So as I understand, she was cast out? I was certain your parasite had taken hold. I'm glad I was wrong. Thank you for saving Master Halson. For saving my home. For everything. You're very welcome. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus's peace to this place, but I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Oh, nice. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. You mean this one? It's broken, but not too badly. Combine items? Oh. So they are timed. Is the most well known of the Source Coast cabals, perhaps, but certainly not benign in its shrouded doings. My sources claim that those belonging to this mysterious faction uphold power. But if that is so, why do they not expose the revelations of their inquirers for the public good? Why indeed? Because knowledge is power, and the Harpers intend to keep both for themselves. Shadow Druids, weighed in the life of a man against that of a sapling oak. Which do you value more highly? Ask a shadow druid the self same question and be shocked by their answer. This dangerous group utterly disregards intelligent life in favor of the life of plants and insects. Their perversion of the natural order leads them to plan and execute plots to dastardly the, so dastardly that the mere description of one would leave you glancing sideways at your begonians. begonias. The Order of Clurt, 
The least known and accordingly most dangerous of the secret societies I have researched is the Order of Clert. My sources tell me the shadowy conspiracy of murderers, m mutilators, and tyrants regularly meet to plan and the demise of the n any number of innocent citizens of our fair land. What's more, they like it. Dark Justitians, Justitiars. I shudder even to inscribe their name upon the purity of this page. I shall leave it as at this. At this. They worship Shar. Hmm. Ooh, give me that. Sorrow. A beautiful glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? Hmm. Oops, droid note. The Emerald and Clave won't send help, even if I asked. This land is wounded, and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait to help for help to come, but perhaps I need to face the darkness alone. Well, I think that is all that we can get from here. Mm, it was still worth it. I wouldn't say it wasn't. Oh, there's this parasite. Oh, actually, can I give to it to him just like this, or...? Oh, he's so sad. Uh, I don't see it, or was he supposed to pick it up? Ah, there it is. I'll give you two for now. No one stopped me yet. Swift as my feet can carry me. We we'll, we we'll, will we'll leave one for Gale, because he also said he wants. He is interested in it. In it. Here goes nothing. It shows dark justice. Okay. Oh, right. Their presence. Wait, 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 wait. All these telltale signs of dark justice that we've been seeing. I'm having a hard time believing they're a coincidence. It could be nothing all the same. Lands like these must have seen all sorts throughout the years. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert. In case that suspicion amounts to anything. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. This illicit powers were developing. What do you make of them? On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand... Oh perhaps tentacle before long we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path I never expected ceramorphosis to be tempting I think we should resist these powers there's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it the odds are stacked against us can we try for to ignore our potential advantage Explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it. I won't force you to take it. Like, Gail and uh, Astarion told them themselves that they want to try it, so they get to try it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
we should be going there but also once we get out of here there's still this part of the blighted city north of the blighted city that we can explore i just need to this will to... like this i think nope uh this way Yep. Past the mill of shame. Oh. Well, I didn't expect a cellar here. We can sell it later. Looks empty. The speedy light feet. Medium armor. Okay, anything else? No. Um medium armor, right? So it's your time. I said it's your time to get new armor. Oh no, uh, actually, uh, I just won't sell them. Okay, let's get out of here. Because I need to keep magic items for Gale to eat them. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. <laughs> We should keep moving. Another episode. Why does this keep happening to you? You already know as much as I do. Best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Okay. As you wish. I see this guy is still sleeping over here, so we won't disturb his sleep. Oh, Seriously. Yeah. Ooh, curious book. A wine bottle. A scholar with good taste, perhaps. Oh. Okay, I won't put them. There just yet. Or maybe a bit of a drinking problem. Maybe I will put some scrolls in here. As you can see, I already I'm already encountering the problems that I keep too much stuff on me. Because I, since I'm not checking those, I have lots of stuff. Okay, I'll put. Nope. No, I don't need to sort it out. Um, antidote. No. It, but food. Food. I think that's all food wise. And keychain with just keys. Okay. Actually, give me back one of those. Um can you pick it up? I 
will add all of my books in there. Oh, we can play as. How is that different from just normal? This will help plenty. I'm keeping my inventory nice and tidy. Great. Now let's see. The Pyrrhus Crown. When hearing another, the word regains 1 to 6 health points. But I don't want it to show. For some, those uh, helmets fit. Like the one for Shadowheart and the one for Lazel. They fit them. Visually. <laughs> Something good here, I hope. Okay, it's saved. Why did it save? I don't see anything. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's a dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. Carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Astarion, do you know anything about this? Where are you guys? What the hell? How did you get up there? Quick step. These things have stayed interesting. And her what the hell? No one back home will ever believe this. Light on my feet. I assume that if he was right next to me when I was examining this boy, he would tell me something. Need something? <sighs> of course. I'll say it now. There's a hyena. What's happened here? Something tore right through these people. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The hyena moans softly as its body contorts, ribs cracking and flesh tearing. Strike all of this invulnerable. I don't see a thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena dies along with her.
And of course we have to fight the rest. Although I'm freshly heard that I had no other choice. Closer to it? Not enough, okay, so get as close as possible. Youngus hunger. So this is not natural. You're not proficient with your boots? Oh, maybe marble. That sucks. Swift and lethal. Make way. Okay, give yourself another action. Can you make? What path lies before me? Yes, I can take care of them both. And brought an inspiration on him. Damn it. Nose. Oh, maybe maybe they are changing into nose. This is that this one's dead. Okay, take off your shoes. I did not notice. I do. Can we just exchange them? Not really. Okay, take them off. Okay, now move back. I really don't like fighting over here. Taking position. I need them to come to me. That comes easy these days. I, I want you to dash all the way over here. And move. If we manage to run far enough... Ooh, guiding bolt. It will hit him. <laughs> Got to move. If we keep close to the... this with acid no it don't you're too far and what about this really but you can shoot they rolled 14 so this is okay Cost. 
Probably not. He wasn't hurt. He was hurt. Great. Shoot him. We can just kill. Fury, I am death. What do you mean not enough movement? You can hit him. <laughs> okay, try pummel strike. I think is no, it's 14. Yeah, I think this is fine. Start going that way. Victory awaits. God damn it. Sometimes the only way out is through. Good job. Need to find a way forward. And you can dash right. Right, he stepped to the uh No time to waste. She also stepped into my daggers. Great. Will everyone just keep stepping into them? Please don't miss this. Yeah, it's okay. Place is overrun with lows. No wonder if they're leaping from hyenas left and right. Let them come. We will rip them from top to tail. Ooh. What's that? Written in a furious slopping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor. I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic! My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet, and yet to spend time with my child I must visit my summer home in Cormer. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authorities should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Elder Ravengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. So Giselle is your bear or your daughter. I'm receiving some uh, different view. Oh, 
shouldn't order this. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Can you open this? No. Okay. Uh, let's save. And then we'll see what's down here. Anything of you? Dead toll card collector. Even more blood over here. Very well. Wait. Carla. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Um, mm, I don't remember you from the ship. Where were you? Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you. But truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of a great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? It's the tadpole in our heads it connects us. Fuck's sake. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are... I'm Evna. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, mm -hmm. if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Um... So you want me to kill the people haunting you? Don't worry. I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? A warrior who winks at her foes while she slays them. You'd be a fool to refuse her. Why should I do your dirty work? Dirty work's the only kind I like. Gets even messier the more bodies you throw at it. Think of the potential. Okay. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house, just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? Okay, I guess our circus just got another one in its collection. Let me see. We can go down here. I don't really want to go up here just yet, but I'm. Tr okay, thank you, Crash Mountain Pass. 
I think those two will be connected. So for now, let's go. I need to follow the camera. Okay. Wait, there's something over there. I need to wait for them to walk under the bridge so I can go under the bridge as well. Come on, move along. There was the camera bugs out and tries to go over the bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, 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 what are you doing getting over there? Okay, everybody move away. What's next? You What to do? At the ready. Good job, guys. Consider it. Can we not destroy it? Apparently. Maybe we should not delve into this. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's do quick short rest. Guys are doing great. Who the hell's get over here and help? If we don't deal with them, knows none of us are getting out of here alive. Um. All right. Hold the line while I prepare. Aye, that we can do. The fire won't hold them forever, though. Be quick about it. When the fighting starts, we'll be right alongside you. Not that I don't trust you. Something over there. You don't say. I swear you're wasting your potential. of you guys really no 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 you don't you don't you don't it just just jump no idea why she sometimes has such problems okay you do have any potions no right this is what I was supposed to do um no what the heck You get two. You get two. I think that's it. Oh, by the way, uh, do we still have that? Which one of you? Should have thought about this. Um. Because I want to do something. 
25%, I love this spell. as well try that. There's another one here. Sure, give yourself another action and finish him. That's bad. Okay, I don't have no second level spells left anymore. Listen here. Okay, not that. Oh, try this. Okay, and use this on you. Get that patched up. You had to move over to the fire, didn't you? <laughs> Get this fun little thing. Nice. A really nice little thing. Take for her. <laughs> I can see just how perfectly you are holding them off. Really. <laughs> You're doing great job.
Okay, hit him. Okay, healing ward on you. He doesn't have an action. That's right. Step quick. I wanted to hide from him. Because that worked just fine. Oof. Somehow, um, Take you. heal her, and that's basically all we can do. Oh, no, you can heal yourself. Take you. you know, you are useless, right? God damn it. Shoot. Ah, shoot him. Thank you, now run away. How can he still see him? Just a little bit. You heal her. Finally, great. Oh, you need to take a short rest. Great. <laughs> That could have been worse. Uh, that's okay. And we're done. We're not done? Oh, he still has four health. How come Vicious Mockery is so useless? Uh, reroll. I believe you can do the thing. Can you kill him? Thank you. In that corpse, with potent magic. Hmm. First things first, I want to loot this. Seems like a good moment to talk. Thank the gods that's over. Wish you'd been with us when the beasts attacked on the road. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alive out there? No. All I saw was blood and guts. Damn it. I guess that's a no. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Hmm. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. 
You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. What's in the chest? Your cargo? Aye. The whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Terenths. Terenths are the currency of a merchant network called the Centaurim. Led by the mysterious Paragost of Darkhold, their dealings are far from scrupulous. Hmm. A lot of people died for those baubles. Rich men place more value on wine and fine clothes than on the lives of folks like me. It's a pretty bit of frippery that'll sit on a mantle gathering dust. But the pay for delivering it makes the risk worthwhile. Hmm. You are Zantarium. Your people don't deal in baubles. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lass like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. <laughs> You'll find I'm very persuasive. We can make much more coin than you would with your employers. the way you think didn't expect to turn this horror show to my advantage but why not the chest's all yours damn things sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings so there's no point in trying to open it i know a fence in Baldur's gate who'll take it off your hands nobody will be the wiser don't try to cut me out of the deal though the black network has eyes and blades everywhere crafty swine like you could make a name for yourself in the zahentarim make sure to drop by our hideout sure this just what's hiding here okay pick up well Ooh. Poor lad. He deserved better. And so does his coin. Can we attack it? It's sturdy, so it won't be pick up. Can't reach it. I swear, if anyone. Karlax got the brawn mm. of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Have you thought about making use of that pulse power? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Okay. Uh, if I must bear the tadpoles' burdens, we should also avail ourselves of their powers. She, yeah, she won't be persuaded by that. Or will she? Perhaps you... No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Hmm. Well, 
the praise or not, you are not good to your queen dead. Do you need these talents? I don't want to... I really, at this point, I really don't want to... Persuade her. You... You might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaythisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. It doesn't work like that. I won't give it to you. You didn't want it, so you, I, you will be living without it. Okay. Of course. Okay, luckily it wasn't that bad. Drop. Drop. Watch your back. Uh lock pick. A crooked touch. Can I get Yeah, I can get guidance, so why not? Reasons grasps. Mm. Trap this arm. Great! <laughs> you get trap this arm, kid, after you disarm the trap. That's a bit overkill. So there it is. Tread carefully. I think we can hear some cops wailing. Okay, uh, lock ticket. The mushroom, I don't need those. Can you? Can you make that jump? Thank you. Oops, no, I don't want you to jump. Let's move. Okay, and that was it. So for now, I'm gonna end this part. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Really? Get over here. I hate you guys. Bye!